Good morning, my friends. Today is a Tuesday for me. I think this video is gonna be a what's sold on eBay video, but on my way to the office, I am stopping by Salvation Army, a thrift store, to see if I can find some stuff to resell on eBay. Looking for higher end clothing and shoes mostly, so let's go in there and see if they have anything for us to resell. And then from here, I'll be going down the street. It's like five minutes to our office. And then when we get back to the office, I will pull up some items that sold for us on eBay and show you guys some good sales, some good stuff to be on the lookout for. All right, here we go. Man, I love thrifting. I know that it's not for a lot of people, but I really enjoy thrifting. That's why we still do it. It's so cool to be able to walk into a thrift store and find stuff that like not only are you interested in, but that you can buy and sell for a profit. It's so cool. Anyway, I spent $31 at that thrift store on five items. Let me show you what I bought. We'll start with this Ralph Lauren polo. It's a Ralph Lauren rugby polo. That's what the tag looks like right there. Really nice embroidery on it. It's got sevens patched on the side. I like the three tone as well, the light blue, the dark blue, and the white. And then on the back, it's got a huge number seven patch. Pretty cool item. I think we paid $3.99 for it. Yep, we paid $3.99 for this. And I think we'll probably price this around $35 for this polo. Next is this Harley Davidson long sleeve men's shirt. It is a size 2XL. Yeah, size 2X. We paid $4.99 for it. It's got the Harley Davidson American Tradition graphic on the front of it. This is a 2008 graphic and it also has the Harley Davidson spell out right down the sleeve. I think it's on both sleeves. And then the graphic on the back is Harley Davidson Smoky Mountain Gatlinburg, Tennessee. That is a 2007 graphic. Again, paid $5 for this shirt. We'll probably get around like $25 to $27 for it. I'm not sure exactly, but the main reason why we bought this is because of the size. Bigger Harley Davidson stuff sells better for us. So bigger the better. And because this is a size 2XL, we will get more money for it. Okay, the third item is this men's Patagonia flannel shirt. It's really, really nice. It's a two pocket Patagonia heavy, heavy cotton shirt. There's a little Patagonia tab on the side and there's the Patagonia label paid seven dollars and 99 cents for this shirt but we get usually over thirty dollars for these so we'll probably price this shirt around I don't know probably around like 35 37 dollars and I would be surprised if we didn't get over 30 bucks for this so turning eight dollars into at least 30 is still a good deal for us you do still have to look up Patagonia stuff because certain styles are selling better than others but if you ever find like the heavy heavy cotton flannel shirts they do very well for us on eBay or on whatever platform you're selling them on. Patagonia is a great, great brand to resell. By the way, shout out again to Allison and Callie and also Trista from Side Hustle Pros because that's where they got the idea from originally. But shout out to them for making these giant flat lay hangers. I'll link the video on how to make one up here somewhere if you want to make your own one, but they're really cool. They make it so that you can hang the item. It's better for your back and it still looks good against the wall. Hey babe, you want to see something really cool? Wait for it, ready? What? Boom. Ooh, that Tommy, Tommy for your mommy. <laughs> We're trying to figure out if these are girls or guys or boys. I don't know. It they're says nice size though. 18. They're, they're like high waisted. Yeah, they say size 18 on them. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you guys know. There's the there's a patch on the front there. They're not figure flattering guys. <laughs> we paid. What do you pay? $7.99 for these things. They go well with the Pokemon distress shirt though. <laughs> I would expect, we gotta figure out the sizing on them, but I would expect to get at least like 50 bucks for these just because of that flag. And there is like a little, there's a little mark over here, but Allie's gonna try to get that off. <laughs> and then the last item I bought for $5.99 are these Dansko purple clogs. They are like the suede leather clogs again they were cheap enough for us to buy i paid six dollars for them and usually we get like around 35 dollars for these so even after shipping and everything we'll still make some money on them you just want to make sure that they're in good condition which these ones are in actually really really good condition especially with suede stuff you don't want too many like marks on them so that's what i bought at the thrift store allison was just saying that she can't get mad at me for going thrifting when i bring back good stuff right babe right <laughs> So I spent $31 total on those five items. I think all said and done, we should get like gross revenue back. So before shipping and expenses and fees and all that stuff, so gross, we should get back at least like $160 to $180 on those five items. So 31 bucks into that, I'm pretty excited about. 
Especially because I was only in the thrift store for like 45 minutes maybe. I did pass on some stuff in that thrift store that would have been good. There were two Ralph Lauren Pima soft touch polos, but both of them had flaws. The first one had stains on the front of it, and then the second one, Salvation Army, stop putting the price tags in the items like that, because they leave like big holes. So, and then also make sure that you guys are checking your items for flaws before you buy them. Because both of those Pima soft touch polos we would have bought. They sell for like 25 bucks for us pretty quickly. But had to leave those behind. Anyway guys, that is the stuff that I found at the thrift store today. I think now I will show you some items that sold on eBay for us in the past couple weeks. Allie, I'm going to do a whistle wah video. Whistle wah! What sold on eBay last week. But this will be in the last like two weeks. Do you want to, do you want to partake? Do you want to join the Maybe. video? All right, I'll pull out some stuff on my computer and we'll jump over to my computer and then I'll show you half of the things that sold and then Allison will jump on and show you the other half. So enjoy guys. If you like videos like this guys, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, eBay. eBay's on fire. Subscri <laughs> subscribe to our channel, hit that little bell button to be notified when we post a new video. Share the video, leave a comment. We love you guys. Here's 30 items that sold on eBay for us in the past two weeks, enjoy. Okay, so we'll start out with these Ralph Lauren Tuxedo Polo Bear Old Fashioned Whiskey Glasses. These are brand new. They were a set of two. We actually still have one set left. We have them priced at $74.77, and we took a best offer on the first set for $66. Item number two is this Bosch GAM270 Digital Angle Finder. This one sold for us for full price, $207.77. We do free shipping, obviously, so that's not the net amount we made, but it did sell for that amount 207 bucks and 77 cents next up is this fender guitars men's xl graphic t-shirt we probably paid like one or two dollars for this t-shirt took one two three four pictures and the measurements and it sold for us for full price 19 dollars and 77 cents some sheets these are wam sata wam sata wam Mom Sata King Sheet Set had them listed for $89.77. Took a best offer on these for $84 shipped. We don't find much of this brand, but when we find it, it does sell well. It is Hook Fishing, H U K Fishing. This one we had listed for $31.77. It's just a men's medium long sleeve button down fishing shirt. And we took a best offer on this one for $24. Really cool men's 1990s Umbro. Umbro men's medium puffer jacket. This one was cool. It had like the Umbro logo all over it. A nice green color. It did have a couple little flaws on it, but all in all, it was a pretty nice jacket. Had it listed for 40 bucks, took a best offer on it of 30. Some Burberry. Anything Burberry sells well for us and it sells really fast for us too. And it doesn't take that much. So like you can see three pictures on this one and the measurements listed it for $39.77. Sold for us for best offer of $35 free shipping. Some Oakley. The right Oakley items are still selling very well for us. This one was a size large button up with the little metal logo on the pocket. Listed for $23.77 and it sold very fast for us. I think same day we listed it for 20 bucks. Some Lucy Power Max woman size medium leggings or yeah, stretchy leggings, capri leggings, three pictures. This one had listed for $27.77 and we took a best offer of 22 bucks on this one. Some Tommy for your mommy. This is a pretty cool item. It's just a men's dress shirt, but it's the collar that makes it really cool. It had this like picnic blanket looking collar. Just a regular white shirt with that cool collar. And then the inside, like by the buttons, also had the same pattern on it. Listed for $29.77, sold for $24.77. Arcturex. I know we've told you guys to look out for this brand before. It is called Arcturex. And this was a men's size large fleece cardigan pullover. It sold for, I think, $34? $33. Had it listed for $37.77, and it sold for $33 bucks for us. Some Tommy Bahama for your mama. This one is a men's large button-up. It has a nice pattern. That's why it sold for so much, because the pattern of it is really nice. Listed for $27.77, sold for full price $27.77. A 1993 Meatloaf Everything Louder Tour t-shirt. 
vintage band tour t-shirts sell for a lot of money. This one we had listed for $44.77 and it sold for us for $40 even. Pretty cool graphic on the front of that one. This is a Wrangler men's button shirt. It had this cool like USA flag pattern all over it. This one went overseas. I'm not sure what country it went to. I just know that it sold through the global shipping program. Had it listed for $44.77 and it sold for us for $39. A pair of vintage Rocky Mountain Rockies women's high-waisted mom jeans. These ones were vintage, but they were also new with tags. Allison found a whole bunch of these at a thrift store one time, paid five bucks each for them, and they all sold now. So this was the last pair to sell, sold for $31.77. Full price sale. Go Allie. And speaking of Allie, here she is to take you through the next 15 items. Oh, wow. This seat's on fire. Whew, babe, your butt. It's lit. Okay, it's all recording. The North Face for your face. This shirt sold full price of 1977. And remember, guys, whenever you're listing the North Face, make sure you're listing it at a good price because it will sell very quickly. A 90s vintage snapback. Allie knows sports. Eerie Sea Wolves. I tried to guess what it was. It's baseball, and I definitely thought hockey. But yeah, sold for full asking price of 37.77. These snapback caps from the 90s are really great. So if you can find them, buy them. And again another the north face men's shirt sold for 21 dollars. we took a best offer on it but yeah a little zip pocket it's a blue fishing shirt really great we always love finding the north face as long as there are no holes in it always check for holes because remember these are outdoor activity shirts so typically they get destroyed and that's why they're donated but this one was in great condition a men's charcoal gray champion cop shirt so funny, Ryan found this. We took a best offer of $18. And for a t-shirt, that's really good. It's a quick, easy front and back tag and measurements kind of a deal. So yeah, quick and easy to list and $18, we'll take it. And another one of those awesome wholesale items, this Polaroid camera was the last one we had available and it sold for a best offer of $94.77. So somebody got a couple of dollars off and that was reasonable, so we took it. And some women's clothes. Typically if we buy women's clothes, it's usually nicer, more high-end items that are for activities and these are motorcycle, built ironworks pants they sold for a best offer of forty dollars somebody got 10 bucks off good deal for them and good deal for us and then these beautiful woven bostonian men's shoes they're just so fabulous i mean look at these things look at those those are just they're just so beautiful. They sold for a best offer of $50 and we took it because sometimes you just gotta move items and it, it seemed pretty fair. So a win-win for everybody. And more shoes, some men's Vibram five finger shoes. They're for like barefoot running, outdoor activities. These are really beautiful condition and they actually sold for our full asking price of $47.77. But I mean, look at all those toes. Those are great toes. A men's CC Filson Garment Co. dress shirt. This sold surprisingly for our full asking price of $39.77. They just bought it outright. They wanted it and they got it. Another wholesale item, this Kenwood K-Mix toaster, not to be confused with a mixer, but yeah, it's um, new in the box with the damage boxes you can see here we took a best offer on it of $65 but we decided since we're moving warehouses that the less large appliances to move the better this is one of those meat and potato items for us nat nast men's button up shirt this one was wool with a silk lining which is kind of really awesome but we took a best offer on it of $28.77. It was a little bit back and forth and they accepted. And there you go. That's another Nat Nash shirt sold yet again. As you all know, we like to pick up jerseys here and there and this majestic raise proved to be worth our while. It sold for full asking price of $34.77. More the North Face for your face. This was just a fleece lined zip up vest. It has some pockets in it and we took a best offer on it for $40. Roper Men's Large Pearl Snap Rockabilly Vintage Western Shirt. This was a really beautiful one. I was actually surprised at how much Ryan asked for it, but even more surprised whenever somebody paid in full $49.77. So go Ryan, what a find. Yeah, go Ryan. 
<laughs> Is that it? No, one more? One more. Snack you. Last but certainly not least, as Ryan loves to always say, who am I? I'm Ryan. Some Ed Hardy board shorts. These are really awesome. They're nice, bright, obnoxious, super exciting, and it's summer, so it's always great to sell swim trunks in summer. And they sold for a full asking price of $23.77. So there you go, guys. There's there our you have it, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Again, give it a thumbs up. Do that. Do that, but click it on the video. I went rollerblading this morning, so I look like... Am I heavy? I sh just showered and came to work. You look beautiful, babe. Always, all the time. Bye, guys. See you later. Peace out. Yeah, See you next time. All right, bye. <laughs>